five-year-old boy in Kharkiv, Ukraine, had an alarmingly high fever with constant shaking chills that if left untreated, his mother worried might kill him. Yet the ravages of the war in Ukraine made a hospital visit simply impossible. How could he survive? Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Arnott, part of the Health Tech Without Borders team that delivers high-level medical consultations and care digitally where it's simply too dangerous for patients to even leave their homes. Think how hard it is to get to the doctor's office right here in the United States. First of all, you have to schedule the appointment. There are traffic jams, time away from work, pulling kids out of school, long waits in the office. Now, imagine that the obstacles are missiles slamming into a nearby apartment block, artillery shells landing in your child's playground, roads blocked by burnout tanks, and raging street battles outside your home. Healthcare emergencies? For many Ukrainians, it's simply too dangerous to leave their homes or underground bomb shelters. So where do patients turn? Over 55,000 have come to us, Health Tech Without Borders, a Swiss and American NGO that specializes in the digital delivery of extremely high-end medical care via specialized, secure telemedicine links to patients throughout Ukraine in collaboration with our partner, Dr. Online. We've also added high-end miniaturized echo devices that can take the place of a chest x-ray or MRI in emergency circumstances. Paramedics carry them in their go bags and can diagnose pneumonia, heart failure, a high-risk pregnancy, or even shrapnel lodged in the heart. Patients are incredibly grateful. Now, here's a note from the five-year-old's mom. She says, I'd like to say a big thank you to your team. I'm in Harki with my five-year-old son. All medical centers are closed. My son had a high fever and he had shaking chills, which alarmed her. A pediatrician made a telemedicine visit to her home where there was simply no other choice. She continues, the doctor asked us to describe all the symptoms that the child had and then asked to see, unusually, under the armpits to see if there were any red dots. Now the mother says, I wouldn't even have noticed. The diagnosis, chicken pox. She immediately reassured me, told me what to do and what medications to take. Everything was very fast and constructive. Thank you, said the mother. And as these newspapers report, a disease as common as chicken pox can kill. Now every day there are nearly a thousand other cases where healthcare is inaccessible because healthcare facilities have been bombed or closed under the stress of constant artillery attacks or it's simply too dangerous to risk going outside. We'd be very grateful if you'd join us in our efforts in saving lives in the most desperate of circumstances, especially near the battlefields of Ukraine. Visit us at htwb.org. That's htwb.org. Special thanks to our executive team members, Mariana, Jerome, Olga, and Ishan. Thanks so much for watching.